Alright, now let's take a look at the second Xbox Live Arcade game that was recommended to me, Outland. This game starts off with a man from a tribal village having strange visions of an ancient warrior, along with two goddess sisters. Once he sees a shaman, the shaman tells him that he believes the man is the reincarnation of a once great warrior who restored balance to the earth. He accomplished this by defeating two sisters, one good and one evil, who helped create the world. By defeating them, he managed to restore balance to the universe. Now it seems that the time has come once again for a warrior to step up and restore balance to the universe. So, will our hero rise to the challenge? Well, that's all up to you. This game is a 2D platformer and is slightly reminiscent of older Metroid games in which there are very large open areas which can be explored at your own discretion. Upon exploring these areas, you will find many enemies who will hinder your progress. Killing these enemies is simple at first, but as you progress through the game, it becomes much more difficult. The only weapon you have at your disposal is your sword. You may use this sword to attack either on the ground or in the air, to side slash, uppercut, or stab downward, along with being able to attack on ladders. As you progress through the campaign, however, the enemies will take on either a light or dark alignment. This is where the alignment system comes in. While fighting a dark aligned enemy, you need to switch your character to the light alignment, and vice versa for the light aligned enemies. Along with just enemies, you will need to pass through many areas in which there are cannon-like objects shooting out beams of energy. Similarly to the enemies, if you pass through these energy beams with the opposite alignment, you will take damage. This alignment system also works with the platforms, making for some very interesting platforming segments. While exploring many of the areas, you will find bases which give you gold. Gold can be used as certain statues in order to raise either your hit points or energy points. The HP in this game is similarly set up to the Zelda games, in which your health is in hearts. Each time you get hit, you lose one of your hearts. Lose all of your hearts, and you respawn at the nearest checkpoint. But this isn't too big of an inconvenience, as the checkpoints are in fairly convenient locations, and you can gain hearts by breaking vases and killing enemies. The energy points can be used for special attacks. These special attacks are unlocked by progressing through the campaign, and using each attack takes away one point of energy. These attacks vary from a powerful slash attack, to a direct energy beam, to an attack that takes all of the energy beams from an area, and forces them into a burst attack. Along with just unlocking energy attacks, you can also unlock certain abilities, such as the ability to ground pound, dash through walls, and use certain boost portals in a similar fashion to the barrels from Donkey Kong Country. There are five areas overall, and each area has a boss fight at the end in order to progress. These boss fights range from fighting a giant golem, to fighting a giant spider. You know, I'm sensing a pattern here. These fights force you to constantly be on your toes, as they will be throwing everything but the kitchen sink at you in order to hinder your progress. This game also allows for co-op, in which both you and a friend via Xbox Live or the PSN can join up and fight through certain areas together. Except I found one problem. I could not find a single game to join. So, for the time being, I'll have to withhold my judgment on this matter. Now for the reviewing. The graphics in this game, like many arcade titles, are fairly basic looking, but the environments and the enemies themselves are very well rendered and very well designed. In fact, I would say that some of these environments are downright beautiful. As for the gameplay itself, this game controls extremely smoothly. From the basic movement to the jumping to the combat itself, I can find no problem in the setup. The only issue I have with the game, and mind you this is a minor issue, is the difficulty. This game is tough. The amount of enemies on screen at any given time, mixed in with the fact that there will be multiple waves of energy at any given time, will ensure that you will have to be extremely quick on your trigger finger in order to ensure that you are of the correct alignment so that you don't get your ass handed to you. But difficulty aside, I would have to say that this is an excellent game. If you are a fan of platformers reminiscent to the Super Metroid, or just action platformers in general, this game is for you. You can still find this game on Xbox Live or the PSN for about 10 bucks. So, until next time, this has been E-Dog. Still love games? Still hate spiders. See you next time.